All right. How is everybody? One good six, but my good, sir. All right. All right, we'll just give it a second until everybody comes in. <laughs> Marco's mad. I'm not. Aha, aha. Who is that? No, okay. Mighty. Watch your mic. Yeah, that wasn't mine. Okay. All right. Could somebody type in the group to ask everybody to come? Please. Could you just type in the group to ask everybody to come to class? Because I'm kind of ready. I'm gonna screen share. We're gonna be looking at some ideas. Everybody can see what's on the board right now? Yeah? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Just doing a little different thing today. Yes, sir. All right, changing it up a little bit. All right, so we have a number of things um, prepared. All right, so we have a number of things to look at. Already prepared. All right. So, all right. Um, all right. Let me just let them know that we're ready. All right. All right, I think I think my recording has started. All right, let's go. Ready? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, have, sir. All right, let's go. All right, so what I'm doing now, as you could see, I'm basically, um, this is the homework that you got the last time. Uh, this was what I asked everybody to do for me. Um, a few persons sent in I think Simpson sent me his and I didn't get the chance to mark it. But outside of that, um, many people did not send in their work, all right? Just a few people did, all right? Um, but it's one side for now. All right, but we're gonna have to do what we have to do, all right? We have to do what we have to do, all right? All right, let's go for it. So here's the deal. Um, what we what we wanted to look at here is to convert um, the following. All right, these are various. Um, we want to convert from kilometer to decameter. We wanted to convert centigram to hectogram here. Um, centimeter to millimeter somebody is disturbing us um marvin campbell marvin campbell marianne campbell okay i think we're good now Sorry about that. Guys, just be careful of your, your, your mics, right? Make sense? All right, let's go. So we have all of these to convert. So let us start now 
Um, if you didn't send in your homework, that's fine. This is where we are now. So we want to convert 25.64 kilometers to decameter. Here is what we have. All right, so it is very important that you have this. Everybody could see the laser moving up here. Everybody can see this. So yes, have, sir. having this is very important as we try to convert from one unit to the next, all right? So basically, we had said that, guess what? What we could do was to just um, look at what we're dealing with. So we're dealing with kilo. And let me use a better pen, all right? We're dealing with kilo and we're moving that to deca. We, are, we, we have suggested that we'll put one under the kilo and then we keep putting zeros until it reaches the other one. Can everybody see that? Everybody can see this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so then the relationship between these two that we're about to work out now is 100. I remember we, we have decided that, hey, sometimes it's gonna be a multiplication, sometimes it's gonna be a division, but it is depending on the it's depending on the idea that we have right so definitely it's a hundred that we're going to be using to move from kilometer to decameter however it is our responsibility to know decide are we moving from small to big or we're moving from big to small anybody want to to tell what are we doing are we moving from small to big or from big to small so from big to small Big to small. small, very good. So we're moving from big, is that Mia? Sounds yes, like, sir. Sounds like Mia. All right, so we're moving from big to small. Anybody remember what we said about when you're moving from big to small? When you're moving from big to small, do we multiply or divide? Multiply. Big to small, we multiply. Very good, excellent. And that is going to take you through, right? You multiply when you're dealing from big to small. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to save this up here. I'm just going to put down this and I'm going to create a duplicate and then create the other one from now. So you can actually look on screen to help yourself. So big to small, we multiply. And then I'm going to switch this around a little bit for us, right? We're going to switch this around small, small to big, right? Small to big, we, what do we do? Small to big. We divide. Divide. Excellent, excellent. We divide. So we're going to leave these up here um, as a point of reference whenever we're ready to solve all of these problems. What am I saying to us is that I'm, I'm advising us that whenever you're going to do these problems, always have this here up and ready for you. Always have these. Remember these. Remember these so that you can easily move and navigate. So now we know that it's 100. So let us set up what we have, all right? Let's go for my pen. Let's go for my pen. And we're looking at, I might use a, no, black. All right, so let's go. So we're talking about big to small, right? So we're going, we definitely know that we're gonna multiply. What are we gonna be multiplying? We have 25.64, and we're gonna multiply that by the exchange rate, which is 100. And that is the point that we're making. When you can easily do this here, and you have this, and you understand that you're gonna multiply when you're moving from big to small, the relationship between them, you just use it. Is that clear? Clear? Yeah. Very good. Now let's just put the final thing on it. All right, let me use my, my marker here to move these decimal point. So when you multiply with a hundred, you're gonna be moving the decimal point two places to the right. So we're moving this here to there. And that's where it's going to go at the back here. Everybody agree? At the back around there. So, yes, sir. So yes, then, sir. Yes, very yes, good. Sir. So then our answer is 2,564. And this is decameter, D-A-M. Good? Everybody yes, agree? Everybody agree to that? Agreed, sir. So we could put, sir. Yeah, we could put that beside that if it's not going to be of, 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 of a big trouble. All right. Very good, let's clean this off right there. And then let's let's look at the other one, right? So the other one, what we have here, we have 61,125 centigram, all right? This is a very big thing here, but that's fine. Centigram to hectogram, 61,000, 
125 centigram to hectogram. Um, one of the things that we have to do, again, we have to first decide what are we dealing with, right? Let us see the relationship between these first. We want to see the relationship, right? So what is the relationship like? Well, let's go for that. We're moving from centigram to hectogram. So the hectare is already here. So I'm going to put a one there. And I'm going to keep putting zeros under every column until I reach that centigram, centi. All right. Even though this is centigram, I hope you understand that the M is just for meter and so forth. So we're looking at the K, the H, the DA, and so forth. All right, guys. I hope you don't feel uncomfortable. Yes, sir. Yeah, because I couldn't bother to put all of them. I could have lined up all of them, but I trust that we understand what we're doing here. So definitely, we're seeing now that we're going to be using an exchange rate of 10,000. This is important. Now, let's just look at the second thing. We're moving from centigram to hectogram. Centigram is all the way here. Let's look at this. It's all the way here. And we're going up the ladder up here. The bigger units are up this side. The kilo is bigger than this. It's bigger than this and bigger than that. So we're moving from the centi here, as you could see, and we're going all the way to the ecto. So then we're going from small to big. Everybody agree, small to big? So we're using this. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, Mia. So small to big, we are definitely going to be multi. We're going to divide, I should say. Sorry about that. So let us put up what, what it is that we're going to divide, right? Let me put it right here. So the idea that we're going to be working with now is that we're dealing with um, 61,125, right? And we already decided that it's division, right? So we're going to be dividing, all right? I don't have a division sign here, but I'm going to use this as my division sign. Is that fine? So that, that's referring to my division sign there right now, all right? So I'm dividing by that 10,000. Right? Dividing by 10,000. But definitely when we divide, what does um, the division represent in terms of the movements of our decimal point? When we go to, the left. go to the left, and if you're using special numbers like um, 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, you move according to the number of zeros, right? No biggie. So how many zeros are we looking at here? One, two, three, four zeros. So then watch this now. And this is something that confuses a lot of people. All right, let us focus here. Anybody can remember that if you don't see a decimal point, it means your decimal point is at the back chilling. Everybody agree? Agree, sir. That little red dot that Agreed. I right there is indicating that the decimal point is at the back. We're supposed to move it one, two, three, four places to the left. Let's go for it. That's one two, three, four. Everybody can see that? We're gonna stop right here. All right, yes, so we're gonna start between the six and the one, all right? So basically we could conclude our answer. Let, this is the conclusion, all right? So the conclusion is that we, we're looking at 6.1125 and this answer is in hectogram. So we could put it beside it for now. That's fine. Let's put it beside it. All right. So we're going to move it and we're putting it right beside that solution right there. All right. So whoever come in late, well, it's being recorded as well, but you know, whoever come in late can check it out. All right. Um, is this, is this okay? Yes sir. yes, sir. All right. Yes. Sir. Very good. Very good. I just want to know that we're doing fine, right? So I'm happy that we're doing fine right there. All right. Let us, let's look at the next one. I'm going to ask somebody now to navigate for me. Anybody wants to suggest what to do? I am fine with that. Um, go ahead. Anybody wants to just tell what, how they go about doing this one? Anybody? We're looking at this one now. Number three, right here. Anybody wants to navigate? If not, I'll just continue doing my explanation. Um, it's a part of the homework, but if nobody feels like that they want to do it, definitely I will continue doing what I have been doing. 
going once, going twice, sold. All right, so it was sold. All right, so let's go for the relationship between the units first. I hope you kind of see the pattern of how I do things. I'm not saying this is the only way, but I, I really think that it's one of the easiest way to get out your answer. See the relationship first between the unit that we're about to convert um, between. So we're looking at, we're looking at a centi meter to a millimeter. They're all the way down here. Both of them are here. So we're talking about this, this, a simply 10. Everybody's seeing that it's just a 10 we're dealing with right now. So the relationship yes, sir. is a 10. That's one. The second thing that we want to, to put together now is to decide, are we moving from big to small or is it that we're moving from small to big? Because it has to be one of them. So we look at it. This is centimeter to millimeter. Check it out. Are we moving from small to big or big to small? Say big, big to small. Big to small. Excellent work. Thank you again, Nia. So we're looking at big to small, and big to small says that we should multiply. Multiply. Very good. Thank you very much, Melissa. So what we're going to do right now is just to take out our text box. We're going to work it out right here. Or we could probably work it um, right down here, right beside it. All right, so let's go for that. What are we dealing with? We're simply dealing with 14.78 right? centimeters. And we want to convert that to meters. We decided, based on what we're doing, that we're, we're going to multiply by 10. All right? We have already understood the movements, right? We spoke about it. Um, so here, here is the movement. We're moving from here. When you multiply with powers of 10, you move to the right. Right. So we're going to move to the right one place. Bam. So it's going to move to between the seven and the eight. And that final thing we're looking at is 148.7. And the unit of measure is mm. All right. Very good. Um, but I know you guys should feel comfortable to understand that, hey, this really doesn't get harder because there are a few steps that you just have to take, all right? There are just a few steps that you have to take. All right, very good. Let's go to number four. We're going to finish all of them before we start to look at other things. And I have a little quick... Uh, go ahead. Sir. Yes. Doesn't literally everything, it, like from my experience, literally everything in math gets harder. Oh. Depends. I know you look at the word hard. Um, all right. Hey, it just doesn't get harder for you because you're the teacher. No, I'm going to give you the secret. You ready for the secret? Yes, sir. Yes, all right. sir. All right. So I, I'll give you a secret, um, Kaiser. And I want you to think about what I'm about to, to say to you. All right. Um, you like to play games, Kaiser? Uh, yeah, I play Roblox and stuff. All right. Yeah. Now, you tell me when you just got Roblox, that first, first, first time you never, the first time, whether or not you got it or you were about to play it, that first time, were you good at it? Be honest. Um, no, no, not exactly. really. Exactly. So you weren't good at it. It's your first time. You're new to it. So the experience for you is new. All right, so then you go through that phase of not knowing. Now, I want you to tell me what it is that allows you to do better over time. Just think about what you did. What, what made you got well, better? Well, I, I practice. Boom, exactly, you practice, you understand? So you didn't get better because the game is easy. You got better because you increase your skills for that game so that you were able know to find it very easily to do almost everything. Same thing with mathematics. Now, that is why it is very easy for me. Anybody want to tell what I did? I practice. There are various ways to practice. You can, you can be thinking through the problems when you're practicing. So I think a lot. There is never a time that you'll find me not thinking a math. You might not know because I'm not writing now, but I'm processing something. So what it is doing for me, Kaiser, it's allowing me to absorb new ideas of how do I get around this? What do I do if I should be asked a particular question? How do I answer? What's the best answer 
to allow somebody to feel as if they're learning or whatever. I have been thinking about those like every second of the day. So my brain is always like that. And that is what you guys have to do. So it's not like it gets harder. You're learning new material. So if you're learning new material, then you have to practice. You have to study and then it becomes clear. Now, one last thing before we go back to the problem. Do you know that everything is relative? Every single thing is relative. Even if somebody said, I am fat, you're fat in comparison to what? Even if somebody said, oh, I'm slim, you're slim in comparison to what? The word slim and the word fat means nothing unless you compare. So nothing is hard because the same thing that is hard for one somebody is very easy for the other person. And something that is very easy for one person is the hardest thing for another person. So everything is relative. You decide what you want that relativity to be. Do you want the thing to be rough on you, Kaiser? You decide. You know what to do. Exercise the principle and everything will be very clear. Anybody remember Kung Fu Panda? Nobody? Yes, sir. Okay. Sir. Yes, sir. Except the third That's one. the whole principle. Look at what the panda was in the beginning. And then when he started to train with Master Shifu and all of that, and, 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 and by the end of the story, he became the best. But look at what he went through in the beginning. That is the same thing with a new math. Is it clear? I think that was clearly said. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. All right, yes, good. Sir. So, so, so you have to practice, um, Kaiser, because I know you have the ability, so just do it, all right? All right. Now, let us, let us now quickly look at um, this one. It says 0 0.0345 hectogram to milligram. So let's look where we're going. We're going all the way from hecto, which is here, all the way to milli. Zero, 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 zero. Man, this is 100,000. That's the relationship. Everybody can see that? It's 100, yes, sir. All right, good. So that relationship yes, is 100,000. So here is the deal. So we have 100,000 to deal with, right? And we're moving from what? We're moving from big to small or small to big. Somebody confirm? Big to small. Exactly, Mr. Mighty. Big to small, which means that we're going to multiply. What are we going to multiply? Let's take out our stuff now. I thought, all right, good. We're going to multiply. So we have 0 0.0. 0345 and that will be multiplied by 100,000. Well, if you multiply by 100,000, your decimal point will be moving to the right five times. One, two, three, four, five zeros. All right? So if somebody wants to see it, let's do it. We're moving from here. One, two, three, four. And we're going to have to skip and say five, that means we're gonna to have to introduce a zero. All right, we're gonna to have to introduce a zero to hold that place because we did an extra skipping. Is that clear with everybody? So our, yes, answer, yes, our answer will be three, four, yes, five, zero. The thing is, um, there's something I want to talk about. I, I do realize that people gave me their answer with a zero in front of the three. Think about it. When you have all numbers, because these are all numbers, right? You don't need to have zeros in front of all numbers, right? Is that true? Because we don't say 0, 05 or 0, 010 or 0, 100. All right. So I noticed quite a few persons who sent in their answers were putting the zeros in front. We mainly put zeros at the back to all the place. We don't necessarily put it at the front unless it's a decimal number, which is different because this is not a decimal number. So here's the answer. What, sir? Go ahead. Sorry to interrupt you. I'm sorry to interrupt you like that. But the answer is still correct, although we put the zeros in front. Yes, the answer is correct. But it, all right, let me, let me, let, all right. There are a lot of things that are not about correct or incorrect. We're talking about um, me teaching you, and I expect certain behavior over time. So, yes, it is correct. But it's like one of those things that needs to be cleaned up. In other words, you're not going to go anywhere in the world and see people writing numbers like that because we just don't write numbers like that. You understand the point I'm making? 
But as a, what, if I'm marking, I am definitely will be giving you that grade because I would understand that you are exercising a deep understanding. But definitely, I would prefer you understand that the zeros in front of the old numbers does not make sense. So basically, I just wrote like a million zeros for nothing. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I'm like, saying. Like, like my mindset is that like I'll literally do anything just like to understand. No, oh, look, okay. Yeah. So, so Kaiser, yeah. Kaiser, are you suggesting that you had two zeros in front? Yes, sir, I did. You have zero, zero, three, four, five, zero. Yes. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. All right. Yes. I understand. And then your like... is correct, you know. Kaiser, your answer is correct, but it's it's an ugly answer. But it's I would say that your answer is correct, sir. So I must give you that. But I'm saying as of tonight or this evening, I don't want you to do that tomorrow because we only do that when there is a decimal. All right. A typical example. Typical example. Let us just examine this. We're learning. You notice this is 25. I did not say 0, 025. This is 6,112, 61,125. I did not say 0, 0, 0, 0, 61,000. No, I didn't. But check this out. I did it here when there was a decimal out front. So when the decimal point is out front, I can agree with you. That's fine. But when there is no decimal point out there in front, I am thinking that it's time we stop doing that. We're no longer in primary school. We are in high school. And high schoolers do not act like primary schoolers. How does that sound? How does that sound? Sir, sir, this it sounds like the Ministry of Educa Education is confused, sir. First, they want us to write a bunch of zeros. And in math, you know, you have to write certain numbers, you know, to get it correct or to understand the formula. But mm -hmm. now you just say we don't need zeros. We no, don't I need zeros anymore. No, I didn't say that. No, no, no. Sir, on the exam, there will be no zeros in front if it's a multiple No zeros in front, mighty. But hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let, me, let me clarify this. This zero thing is very serious. I did not say that you're not supposed to write zeros. Because look at this. I was the one who put this zero right here. Isn't this a zero right here? I put that yes, zero. Sir. I didn't say you're not supposed to write zeros. I simply said that zeros in front of a whole number. You notice I said a whole number? zero in front of the whole number is not necessary you will never see it anywhere you get me so yes, when, yeah, you, yes. won't see, you won't see it whenever you find it you can she can show it to me you will never see it because we just don't do that because if i say to you right from if i say to the class right now right if i say guys right from one to ten i'm certain nobody We'll have 0, 01, 0, 02, 0, 03, 0, 04. Nobody. So if you're not going to do that right there, then why would you want to do it in other cases? Right? So what I'm saying, I think we should just possibly understand what we are about and, and go. You understand? Just understand that for whole numbers, we don't put zeros in front of them. And when we said in front, we mean to the left of them. Clear? Yes, sir. All right. Yeah. Very good, very good, very good. Let me kick this one off. I'm going for this one. All right, so we're looking at 500 and, I think this is a 514.71, What's the relationship between this though? Decameter to hectometer, so we're moving from kilometer, should say. That's a 10,000. Oh, yeah, 10,000. Yes, sir. And you're moving from yes, sir. small to big. So small to big up here says that what we divide. Principle is very simple, though. I hope you see the principle, all right? Because I don't have a good division sign yet, I'll use this. And we're dividing by, dividing by 10,000. All right, so we could quickly do that. You're dividing by 10,000, so we could walk the decimal point here. Let's walk the decimal point, right? We're going to walk the decimal point. One, two, three, and four. Check this out. We're going to have to include a zero at the front to put the decimal point here, and that's the point we're making, All right? So I'll, I'll do that just because I have a decimal point, 
right? So 0 0.051417. Look at the big difference. Look at everything that we have been doing. And when it is that I use that zero at the front, it was because I was holding the place and then a decimal point has to come there. So Kaiser, that's when you put your zeros out front, when, when, when you have a decimal point out there with it. All right? Okay, so very yeah, good. I understand. Very good. Very good. And, and it's good that we're having our classes, man, so that we could clean up certain things. Because um, when you're in class at your, your, your various high schools, I, I really don't want you to be making errors that ordinary kids are making because none of you in this class is ordinary. Everybody here is extraordinary, okay? All right, let's go for the last one and then we will jump into um, whatever new material that we want to look at. All right, so we're looking at this one. We're moving from kilo, right, to centi. All right, so we're moving from kilo, which is right here, and we're going all the way, all the way to two centi. So let me just write them quickly. All right, very good. All right, so we're moving all the way to centi. All right, so this again is 100,000, all right? And uh, we're moving from a big unit to small. So big to small right here, say we multiply. All right, so let's just, just take out our thing and go. What are we multiplying? What are we multiplying? We're definitely, we're definitely gonna be multiplying 758.04. We're gonna multiply that by 100. 100,000, and we're expecting the decimal point to be traveling, all right? So going to the, so it's five places. So this looks, this looks like we're gonna have to include two zeros. One, two, three, four, five. So as you could see, this is kind of ugly. I hope you're good with what I'm doing here. We're gonna have to put a zero here and another one here, and the point comes after that. Because based on the fact that we're supposed to move this five places, all right? And so you could see from here to here is three, and we needed two more. So we had to include two more zeros as we go. So our final figure basically is seven, five, eight, zero, Five four. Oh, oh, I think I have a wrong number there, guys. Let's check this out. Let me do this over. I think I had a wrong number. I wrote a five in the question and there was no five. Everybody agree that there, I wrote a five in the original. Look, let me do this over for us. Oh, sir, I yes, see, sir, I see, I see. I was see wondering it. what you were doing. Yeah, because there was no five here. So that's my error. So let me take it out. Very good. That's it now. All right. So it means then we're going to let me push this over some more because I'm going to need this space to show what, what we're about to do. I agree, since we know what's coming. So let me do this over for us. Um, as you could see, five places. One, two, three, four, five. So that's my point is going to come here. But at the same time, we definitely need some placeholders. All right, we need a zero there, one here and one more there, right? So we needed three zeros. So let us look at the final response that we should have. We should have 758040000. And that is centimeters. Confirm? Yes, sir. Very good, very good, very good, very good. So that basically would wrap up the homework that we had. I trust that everybody um, saw what happened and you're a little bit comfortable with the way in which we're going. All right. All right, good. Any question regarding this? Anybody? No, sir. I'll go. Sir, sir, not really. All right, very good. All right. Now let let us let us check out the other slide. So because everybody say that they are okay, as a teacher, I definitely want to know. So I'm just giving you this here, not here, but here. All right, so we have this. All right, so it's, it's a few things, one to 12, 
um, we're thinking of converting them basically. So the instruction reads, convert the following metric units of length, all right? So this is just me closing down length because we're gonna go onto another thing after, but we have to close this down properly. Um, I would definitely give everybody a chance to work out some. So I'm not going to def I'm not going to do air all of them. I want everybody to take a screenshot because you're gonna get some for homework, all right? So you take a screenshot and have this, but definitely I'm going to ask everybody to do number one for me. I'm going to go with my odd numbers. Um, so with my odd numbers, I'm gonna say everybody do everything here. One, three, five, seven, nine, 11. That's about six of them, as quickly as you can. So as you could see, we're moving from big to little, little to big, you know, that sort of thing. Go back to, to the table to make sure that you can find the relationship and everything. All right, so I'm giving you a chance. I might be talking on the phone. Give me a second, okay? Okay, sir. Alexa, mute.
Yes. I'm sorry, why did it? Oh, don't worry. Huh? Where what? What did you say? Oh, you think? Okay. I'm thinking, I think you said don't worry, right? So what did you say? No, I'm not really saying anything. I thought you were saying something. No, sir. I was asking why you put that big red circle, but then you erased it. Okay. All right, let's go now. All right, let's talk them I'm to finished, you. Man. All right, let's go. Let's see if we could talk them to right now. Let's go. Let's go for them. Let's go, everybody. Let's go. All right. If I text, I want to text some grid. All right. Um, so we have one, six things. So this is just, basically, I'm not really going to put the working out here again. I'm just going to hit it. Um, Kaiser, what you got for number one? 
hold on. Uh, yeah, for number one, I got 5,000 meters. Exactly. I'm just putting answers now. 5,000 meters is correct. Um, I need some confirmation for him. A anybody? Agreed, sir. All right, very good. Agree. 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 And 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 whenever somebody gives an answer, if you feel like um something is off, you could say it so we could discuss it. All right. Melissa, I need an answer from you for number two. Sir, did you call me? Yeah, Melissa, yeah. Number All two. All right, I got 80 millimeters, sir. 80. All right, we need some comfort confirmation on that. Agreed. Agreed. All right. I okay. agree. Excellent. Um mighty. Mighty. Yes, number sir. five. Number, number five, I got on nine thousand millimeters. Huh? Nine thousand millimeters. Oh, it's not millimeters there. 9,000 would have been correct meters. for millimeters, but it's not millimeters. Is this meter? Yes, sir. So double check it. 9,000 is correct for that unit, but we're not doing that unit. So nine, nine, exactly. He says it would be nine for that one. I like that. I agree. Anybody else? Yes, sir. Agree, sir. Yes, sir. Agree. All, right. Agree. All right. Very good. Um, Therese. Number seven. Yes, sir. Number seven. Number sir. seven. Yeah. Um. Number seven, sir. Seven thousand meters. Exactly, sir. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Anybody wants to confirm that with him? I agree. agree sir. Yes, sir. All right. Looking good. Looking good. Um. Jude. Judine. Sir, 1,200 centimeters. Okay, 1,200. 1,200. Everybody agree to that? Agreed, sir. Yes. Agreed. This is going so fine right now. Mr. Henry, Javen. Javen? Where's Javen? Is Javen in the class? All right, Javin is not answering me. I'm just picking up names. Um, all right, let me go. All so he answered in chat. Oh, that means oh, okay, that means something is wrong with his mic, right? I guess so. Okay. All right, let me look if he's sending the answer there. Javin, I, I want an answer from you for number eleven. That's what we're doing. Number eleven, sir. Number eleven. All right. If, he, if he's not responding, I'm just... Mia, could you give me number 11, please? Um, coming, sir. Mm -hmm. Come, Mia. You should have worked that one out already. No, sir. Sorry, sir. Somebody was making noise in the background, sir. Sir, would it be 10 cent? Not 10, sir. Um, 30 centimeters? Exactly. Very good. I appreciate that. Thank you. All right. It's very, all right. I am actually impressed that randomly everybody just getting it right. Is, isn't that great? Everybody, nobody made an error and yes, everything, sir, sir. everything. Um, excuse me, sir. Go ahead. Um, I was absent for the last class because I was sick. Um, can did you post the recording for the last class? All right, the recording lasts for three days, but if you contact me, I could restore it, and then after you finish watching it, you tell me so I could take it back down. It is still there. Um, I could restore it for you to watch it. That's fine, but you have to just remind me outside of class time. Okay. Okay, sir. All right, good. All right, all right, guys. So um, these over here, um, the reason why I say screenshot, because you're gonna do these on your own time and you know, get your own thing, all right? You're gonna do these one in the whirlwind right now on your own time. Let's go. All right, there is something else that we want to venture on now. I really think that everybody here really 
mastered moving from one unit of, watch this, one, one unit of what? Length. 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 So we're only moving from one unit of length to another unit of length, basically here. And we were looking, so basically we're looking at one dimensional stuff. We're going to kick it further now. There's more things to look at. So I'm going to try to introduce an idea to you. All right, and it is converting area units. But before we go here, we're gonna to go to something else. Let's go right here. When we speak of area, right? The term area refers to what? Anybody want to tell me what they think area um, excuse refers Excuse me, sir? Yes. I think area means the amount of space that a shape takes up. All right. All right, area means the amount of, we're going to go on a, on a discovery, the amount of space that an, what you said, an object takes up. That's what you said? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Um, that's kind of, I'm going to put your response there. All right. That's your response. Um, there are certain things in this that we have to flag. We said the area is the amount of space that an object takes up. Um, in science. Sir. In science, this is called something else. But when we speak of area, it's not really the space that is taken up. Because let's talk about let's talk about this. Because we are in class, right? Mathematics is tied to science, right? The space occupied or takes up by an object, it's a V word. Anybody know what that means? Volume. 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 So um, so the space that something takes up is not is not really area it's volume because for example you are taking up some space right now wherever you're sitting nobody can sit there if they try to sit there they'll be sitting on you because you are occupying a certain space isn't that true yes sir yes all right so i think i know what you're saying we're gonna revisit the definition and that is why sir, we can i try yeah i want you to revisit this and see if you could fix it that's what that's what we want to do want to fix it this is a good start but we're going to fix it agree i'm listening go anybody wants to to add to this there are a space is the area that any object covers all right i see you're thinking now so you're saying that the area deals with the space the object covers <laughs> all right um you see when you throw object in it you can kill the idea all right, so 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 I don't want object in the definition for for area. Like I just oh, want shape. I don't even want shape. Area is not about shape. Area is about um I'll say an idea. So let me I try to sit up properly and turn the camera right. Area is something that watch this. I'm not gonna tell anybody, but we're going to find the area of something that everybody knows, and then this this grid that I put here will allow you to get the, the proper definition that you'll see in any mathematics book. I see that you guys are trying based on what you might have learned in primary school, but in mathematics at high school level, we are stepping up the game. Watch me. I want you to follow what I'm about to do now, right? So I'm taking out this. All right, I'm gonna mark something. It's not gonna be as pretty as ever, but watch this. I'm marking this part. No, I'm not gonna use that, not that. Let me, let me, use, let me use this one, all right, good. All right, good. I'm marking this part here. And I'm marking this part here. Marking this part here. I'm marking this part here. All right. I don't want to draw the lines because it's not going to be straight. But basically, all right, let me go. I, what I'm saying is I want everybody to see what's going on here. I'm using the, the blue shade or the blue highlighter to create a rectangle, true? Yes, sir. True, sir. All right, so yes, forgive sir. me for the line that may not be straight, but I hope you understand what we're getting at. All right, now, if we're supposed to tell the length of this rectangle, can anybody tell me what the length is? The length of the rectangle. How many units are you looking at? One, two, 10? Four, sir. Exactly, four units, everybody agree? Four units for the length of the rectangle. Can everybody agree that it's four units right here? I agree, sir. All right. Me, sir. Right. Let's go for the next one. Can anybody tell me what the width 
in terms of the, the dimension for the width? Two units, sir. Two units, two units sir. sir. Two units, very good. Two units, let me put it along the side. All right, let me bring it right here. All right. Now, so we're looking at um, the rectangle. It's a four by two. Now, if I ask anybody in this class, because I know all of you are brilliant, all right? What is the area of this rectangle? The area, remember we're discussing area right here? See it here? We're discussing area, right? And I want to know a formal definition for this. And we're gonna use the answer from this to come up with a certain sort of thinking, all right? Now, anybody could tell me what's the area for this rectangle? Anybody? Area for rectangle, anybody remember? How do you find the area for rectangle? Sorry, would it be six units? It's, hold on, how do you find it? Len times width, right? Yes, sir. Very good. All right, so the area of the rectangle is always um, len times width, right? And that is yes, going to give us eight times two. No, four times two, right? Four times two. And that's going to give us what? Eight? Eight. All right. Now, what do you normally say when you're finding the area? You just say eight? Eight what? Eight unit squared. Ah, eight right. Squared. Right. I like that. Hold on. Eight square units. We're gonna discuss this right now. This is the this is the biggest thing. What you're going to learn now, 90% of the world don't know this. Ready for it? Now, yes, this, eight, yes, this eight that you have here, this eight, you said eight square, and then you have to say unit. Now, you notice I didn't give it a unit, so you couldn't put anything here, but you, you knew it was eight square. Now, is it a coincidence that I'll have this? Watch. Is it a coincidence that I will have this? Watch. One. Two. So you know that I see that long time though. You, you, you pick up where I come mighty, not you? Three. Yes, sir, sir. All of us have been a long time. Four. It's a family line out. So of us have been All right. All right, let's hold on, hold on. From your line, it up, you have to something up, not you? But let's, let's go through together. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Is this a coincidence that we work on the area based on what you learn in terms of a formula. You got eight. But when we count the number of square boxes in that same shape, we really got eight. Eight squares. True or false? True, sir, because you're right. True, sir. All right. Now, it really says something about the word area. And why is it that you had to tell me why you never say eight? dumpling, eight something. You said eight square units. Like you're telling me that there are eight um, squares. There are eight squares. That's what you're telling me, you know? There are literally eight square boxes. And look at it. Sir. Yes. I didn't know that's what it meant. Sir, ah, you said that I was... That's why you're in this class. When you're in this class, you're going to be learning things the right way. Look at this. It's this eight that you have here and you did say square, you're really telling us that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight squares that covers this surface. Mighty, listen to what I'm saying. Yes, eight excuse squares me, sir. that covers this yes, surface. Yes, sir. Let me say it one more time. Eight squares covers this surface. And we spoke about area. What does area deals with anybody sir we said the definition size. it's number of what i think um, area is the amount of square units a figure takes up bingo bingo that's it who's that who said that abigail facey oh, abigail facey that was brilliantly said 
also figure is the number of squares that you can find in a surface. The amount of squares you can count mighty. That is what we call area, but it's like when you're in primary school and you're told, maybe it's not really discussed like that. So you just work it out and say, oh, eight square units. But little did you know that you're really saying that there, there is only eight squares in that particular unit that you can find in that shape covers that surface. That's what you're telling me. Believe it so or could not. Can you repeat the definition? The definition, I'm going to write it. She said it perfectly. Area is the, the number of squares that covers a surface. Exactly. This is a book definition. Sir, can I ask a question then? Go ahead and ask the question, Mia. So, sir, if you're doing like a square and you don't know the area of the square yet, sir, so you can just put some random boxes in the square and then count them up, sir? All right. I see you're thinking. And definitely, Mia, um, from a problem-solving point of view, you are right. But from another point of view, you might not be right. But I'm saying from a problem-solving point of view, when you set up your thing, for example, for example, for example, let me tell you what Mia is saying without knowing that this is what she's getting at. So let me let me polish off what you're saying, Mia. The only thing is when you're being asked a question, normally, they normally state the units and everything already for you. So you can't really change it. But the point you just made is a brilliant point. Watch this. So I'm going to utilize this moment to teach us something about Mapen. Are you ready for it? Can I, can I just take these off, please, if you, do you mind? Because this, yes, this was just this was just for the sir. discussion so that we were able to, this was for the discussion so that we were able to see that the area of anything is really dealing with the square boxes, right? So let's take them off. Let's take them off. Let's take them off. Now, Mia alluded to something, and I appreciate the thinking. So I'm going to highlight this idea for you, Mia. Watch this. I'm going to draw me pen. Here is me pen. Here is me pen. See that? That is me pen. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to put, I'm going to label this up here. Me pen. Oh, this is my representation of me pen town. Now, if you're asked to find the area of me pen town, here is when the, the true definition of area comes up. You're asked to find the area of Mapen Town. When you look at this, all right, Shantaya, Shanoya should say, are you seeing any length or any width? Talk to me. Class, are we seeing any length or any width? Ralston. No, sir. No, sir. All right. No, sir. All right, Samir, are we seeing any length or any width? No, sir. Very good. Now, here's the question I'm going to ask us. Are we able to find the, 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 the area of Mapen right now? Mia, what do you think? Based on what you were thinking, are you able to find it? Don't be afraid to say yes or no. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, you can. I believe we can. Now, Mr. Mighty, Mia says yes, and I am the teacher. I agree with her. How do you think we're going to utilize the concept of area from this side, like right here. How would you utilize this concept of area here to come up with the area of an unknown shape, a shape that is not regular? What do you think we could utilize based on the definition of area to come up with something? A hand is raised, Tyrese. Sir, sir, we can measure the width. Sir, we can measure the width of it and then the length of it, and then we can multiply that to get the depth. All right, all right. I see you're thinking, but let us, let us, let us look at this. Mia, I'm going to follow you. Mia, all right, Mia, it seems like sure. you want to respond to that. Go ahead, Mia. Yes, sir. So I think that we should first find the total amount of squares, sir, like the squares that are fully full, sir, and then... Ex excellent. The excellent. You don't have to say anything else. Excellent. Tyrese, listen to what Mia said. Mia said that, listen, the fact that area has to do with squares covering a surface, 
Why not let us count the squares in this? And that is what the world does. You might not know, most uh, there is no country in the world that has a length and a width. Think about it. There is no country, no district that is so neatly grid off in length and width. It is a very irregular shape all the time. Look at Jamaica. There is no length and width. It's just in and out, in and out. But are we able to find, you understand? Are we able to find the area of Jamaica? Yes, we can. We can drop a big grid over Jamaica and count. We can drop a big grid over Maypen like this and count the square boxes that are captured inside. Now, there is a specific way that we want to count. What we want to do is to count the ones that are fully first, and then we are going to count up the pieces and put it together. So technically, you know, when you find area, it is an approximation, you know? It's not necessarily- Yes, sir, that's what I was going to say. Yes, it is not necessarily to say that it is exactly this. It is a, it is a good approximation. So let us start off with, with the idea of area. Watch. One, two, three, four, five, we could, I'm just going to count this one as six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. These are 11 solid squares inside already. Everybody agree? Everybody agree? Agreed, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Now, what we're going to do now, we have 11 already in a So what we're going to do now is to see how many more we can get. For example, we're going to put together things that we think could make up one. All right, so it's not gonna be exact, so we don't want to unnecessarily debate ideas. For example, watch this. We could just agree that this and this come together to give us 12. Because this is yes, captured sir. inside and this is captured. So it, you understand what I mean? So it come together, this and this could just say 12 together. Everybody see the point we're making now? Yes, sir. All sir. right, and we're gonna have to do that go all the way around. All of these three, we could call all of them together 13. All of them together, 13. This, along with this, and this, we just say 13 together, all of them. All of these, we'll say 13. You get the point I'm making? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes. Now, look at this now. We could piece this with something else. Anybody want to tell me 50, 14? We could piece this with what? What we want to piece this with? Look around for any little piece that you think matches. What about this piece? You think this could... Probably could go or even one of these. What do you think? With this, to say 14. Yes, the first one that you pointed out. Oh, what about this little piece here? Can we just, just use this little piece? And just say, oh, yes, sir. It's not exactly, but we could just let this little piece work as this little piece that. That's the point we're making now. All right? So it's like, yes, that, sir. Yeah, so we're saying that is 14. So this is used up over here. And then we'll continue. I would just put these two together and just say 15. Honestly, these right here. These, I'll just say 15 right there. Half and half again. And this is all the, and these we could say 16 right here. It's an approximation, but it's, it, has, it has worth to it. Um, I could say this, I could say 17. And then I'm going to look to see what else I can touch. 17 with this, I'm just going to probably touch this and say, get this out the way along with this and say 17. I'm going to call this 18. All right, and I could just say probably it, it, it went with this piece. You understand what I was saying? 18. It's not an exact thing, you know? and I could say 19 yes, by, working, by working this half and this half, and we said 19. Not bad, not bad. No, 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 let's look on this. This is a very irregular shape. However, understanding what area really is, we were able to find the area of an irregular shape, understanding that we need to count up the squares that were captured inside the thing. Is that, how does that sound? How does that feel? Yes, sir. Very good. Yes, sir. I feel smart. You feel smart? Smart. Well, well, that's why you're here, because we are not doing regular stuff. What we're doing is way beyond what most grade seven or our age will be thinking. You understand? Because we are opening up the real ideas. So for me, it's not about finding a number. We want to understand what the numbers mean. And that is why you would have left primary school not really knowing what the eight mean. 
because they said, oh, four two is eight, eight square units. And you really don't know that it really means that there was eight squares that was actually in that figure, eight. So we're saying that right now the, the map of Mapen would be 19 squares. And then you will tell the unit after. Watch this, you know. Now, here the contrary thing, guys. I have to spend some time to talk about this. I love these ideas. This is 19 squares, right? So the answer will be 19 squares. And it's really 19 squares, you know, squares. And then you're supposed to tell what unit one side of the square is. You know, that's what they do. 19 squares, yeah? Or you could say 19 square and then tell the unit. So we have 19 squares, yeah? And what's the unit? Well, I'm going to make up a unit right now. Can I just make up a unit, right? So I'm just going to make up a unit. So me making up a unit, I'll say 19 squares and it's in kilometers. That's what I'm talking now. Now, here the thing is, you see this that I wrote here, 19 squares, in kilometers, this that I'm writing here. And let me tell you what this really means. This is how you say area to somebody verbally. There's a huge difference with your verbal representation of area from your writing representation. So let me go again. Verbally, you're supposed to tell the person. Uh, for example, Ralston, I see you raise your hand. Um, Asun, Ralston? Ralston? Yes, sir. Are you raising your hand? Sir, I was going to ask that earlier. Okay, so, okay, so, okay, so basically I, I am saying what you were about to ask. Yes. All right, no problem. Wait, sir, I have a question. All right, Mia, could you, could you wait a minute, just a minute, let me just explain this and then I come to the question, right? Okay, sir. All right, good. So guys, let, let me finalize this and then we take all the questions. I am saying verbally, if you, if, if, if you are talking to me, let us say, that you're reading the news or something, or even if you're talking to your teacher. So I wanted to fix your talking as of now. When you're giving the, the answer for area, you're supposed to say 19 square and then tell the unit that the square is in. And, and what that means is, is that we're saying that one of this side mighty is in kilometer. That's what we're saying. So it's 18 square and one of the side of the square is in kilometer. That means we're measuring everything in kilometer, kilometer, kilometer. Is that, is that clear? That's how you say it verbally. Now, okay, when, you, when you're writing it, you're supposed to write 19. So what you write is not what you say. You write 19 and you write KM and you put the second up here. So that's true. This is how this is this is how it is yes, said, sir. but this is how it is written. I am saying to you, understand your things. Every single thing that you write and that you do, make sure you have the deep understanding for it. Because when you're reading this for me, you're supposed to say 19 squares, kilometers. But if you're writing it and, and, and you're not going to be there to talk to me, this is how it is written. But as long as you're going to tell me, I want to hear 19 squares, kilometer. You get the point we're making now? Yes, sir. All yes, right. sir. Very good, very good. So we learn something extremely important right now. Mia, you had a question, go ahead. Oh, sir, don't worry, it's my question. All right, good, 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 good. All right, so, so this topic though is very, very nice. We are still on converting. It was just that before I could start to convert area to area, I wanted my class to know what area is. And I really believe that right now, all of you know what area is. Area is the number of squares, all right? I wrote the wrong thing here, the number of squares. Let me fix this. That covers the surface. Area is the number of squares that, I wanted to say that here. Hold on, what's wrong with my thing? Okay. Do you see my cursor jumping? I can't see. Okay. The number of squares that, Mighty, I think I wrote the wrong thing here. I don't know what you wrote. Yeah, yeah. That, uh, number of squares that covers. So that I was going covers. to point that out, you know. Yeah, so it was a typo error from my part. Because when I was reading it just now, it just never so nice. And I hate, I hate those little stuff. So we're saying that area is the number of squares that covers a surface. 
that makes perfect sense here. And this is how this is how they will come up with the area of every town. If you Google something now and they give it to you like a country, the area, this is how they do it. For example, I could do this right now. Let me just do something for you. And because uh, we are learning, so we are, we're in no rush, right? Let's take back this off. Let me just show you the point I'm making, right? Allow me to, to just demonstrate something for you, right, guys? Allow me to demonstrate something. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Let me go for something, all right? Let us say that I'm going for, all right, no, I don't want that wrong thing. I don't want that jumbo, no. All right. All right. No, I don't want that either. Hold on. Give me a second, assume, assume. all right, I need this. All right, let me just Google this for you. Let me just do this quick, quite quickly. I like to I like to do my demonstration straight. Wait, sir, there's a there's a classroom. Huh? Uh, what, what, what exactly, is... sir. We have a Google classroom. No, I am um, organized. No, I know what I'm doing. Don't worry about it. Oh, oh, okay. That's just me doing something. I'm going to show you something. You know, look, look, look what is going on. There is everything is on a grid. You notice know grid? You see that? Look at Jamaica. Yes, sir. It's on a grid. It's on a grid, and and if the, so, but this grid is not necessarily for area. You know? But I'm just saying, imagine that they really want to know the area, they'll just bring down the grid fine on Jamaica. All right. So let me get that Jamaica with her. We're gonna do our own grid. All right. Let me take this but, one. Let me take this one. Hold on. I'm just doing something for us. I'm going to save it as Mia, Mia's um Jamaica. All right. Well, sir. <laughs> Mia's Jamaica. How do you feel, Mayor? Your name is being used right now. Yes, Jamaica. You feel good? Yes, sir. All right. All right. Let's go for it now. Hopefully, I can find it. Let me put this up here. All right. I think I'm going to find it. Look for your name, Mayor. We're saying Mayor's Jamaica. Where is All right. Here it is. There I am. Here it is. What we're saying is, is like they would have brought the thing on a grid. Like, like bring it on a grid, right? So I could I could get smaller grids like I could I could get smaller grids like that to get more. We get smaller grids to get more. So they'll bring it on a grid, and then not like what I have though, but I'm just saying that they will just you will have your proper grid and you create the grid. All right, this is an ugly grid, you know, but it's an idea. I'm getting at, all right, so there will be the Stay grid line to a bully. Yeah, man, don't worry about my lines right now please don't it's just an idea i'm getting at i'm saying you would have gotten your grid like that like that can we see the point we're making yet All yes right. sir it, it, yes, remember sir. the computer would have done it like you use your drone go up in the here and you can get a nice picture and then you could do what you think and grid it Right now, we are able to say one square, two square, three square. Can everybody see the point we're making? And you count up the square. And worse, if you have a computer doing it, the computer could do. So, all right. Now, let me ask a question. So this is Jamaica that we're playing around with. I am asking you a question. This is an approximation. If I want a better measurement in terms of the better area or something closer to the truth, because the truth is something that is kind of hidden. All right? Because the truth is already there. And you're using your grid to try to find. Anybody could tell me, what could you do to your grid to kind of get closer to the truth? Anybody? What could you do? Add measurements for each square. Yeah, measurements for each square. Mm, I'm, I'm not really thinking about that. I'm thinking about how can we get more accurate reading? So you would make... Your lines more straight, as line. straight more as straight. possible. All right. I agree, straight lines. Straight. Imagine that these lines are um, straight. Straight. Imagine straight. That they are straight. What could we do to get a Sir. better? Yeah. Would you make the grid smaller? Exactly. Like, Who said that? Is that Abigail again? Yes, sir. That is brilliant. Guys, imagine if we make smaller grids. We're able Sir, to count. Grids. Yeah, if you have smaller grids, Mia, you will be able to count more squares in the thing. 
So it's yes, like I'm you're telling getting... you to make smaller grids. Yes, yes, I heard. So, so exactly. So, it's, so actually, the smaller the grids are, you will get more accurate reading. I see the bigger your grids are, you're going to get worse reading, you know, because you 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 will be assuming a lot. You'll be assuming a lot because the reading is is so big. For example, all right, let's let's take off this. Let's take off. Why this is not getting off? Really? Hold on. All right, take it off. All right, move this. One second, guys. I'm on a different level. I'm on a different level for today's class. You know. What do you mean, sir? It's a whole different vibes, you know. I right, watch this. What we're saying is that the bigger the grid is, is like. It's like, all right, let me draw something and show you what I'm saying. I'm going to draw it in another bigger. Part. The bigger the Sir, grid is. You mean bigger equals less? Bigger yeah. equals less. It, the bigger, bigger the grid is, is, is like the less accurate you are. That's what I want to say. For example, look now. See, I put the, the, the map there. Watch the big old. All right. It's like the bigger the grid is. Look, look at how it is covering this. It's less accurate. But you see, if I go down like this, watch this. If I bring this down, like if I have smaller grids, look at this. Imagine if you I have much a, more squares. Yeah, meaning you're you're able to count way more. So imagine if we cover all of this with uh imagine if I had if I was using some small ones. Can I duplicate this? Wow, I can. <laughs> I can. Hold on. Let me do that. Let me do what I wanted to do now. This is what I wanted to do. Check this out now, Mighty. We're able to do this. Smaller grids. Watch. Smaller grids. I'm just saying this is just a, an idea. Don't kill me. I just just I just ripped this just now. So it's not like I planned it. But what I'm saying is. So what if I did to I'm just saying, I just make another. I'm just showing us that when when we have smaller grids we're able to get more squares you get the point i'm trying to make here yes sir you're able to count more and guess what you have less hanging over you know less hangover spots because because if i go down little and little and little the hangover spots will be a square but then then a computer might be able to count but that's the point we're making the smaller the grid is actually the more accurate we can get readings from it. So the smaller units will give a more detailed reading of the idea. How does that sound? Good? All yes, right. sir. All right, we have 29 minutes. I'm going to dive into this. This might hurt your head a little bit, but let's go. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Sir, please don't make it hurt your head. Let's go, let's go. Mr. Kaiser, let's look on, let's look on what's going on here. This says converting area units. Well, remember area has to do with square boxes. That's the main thing that you have to keep in your mind. All right. I'm not really giving us a question yet. This is just a diagram. That is just helping us to say if you're moving from millimeter square to centimeter square, you divide by, a, by 10 square. If you're moving from centimeter square to meter square, you divide by, you understand? You're still dividing up this man, the same big to little. All right, you see the same big to little and little to big? It still work, but you are using a different exchange rate. The relationship is different now because we are not just dealing with length. Watch what we're dealing with. If I could bring, hold on, let me see if I can. Let me see if I can bring my grid here. Hold on. I should be able to see it somewhere. Where's my grid? Where's my grid? All right. Let me bring the grid here. All right. Very good. All right. We could talk about it here. Let me minimize this a little bit here on this side. All right. Let's talk about this. What I'm saying is when we're dealing with, when we are dealing with length, we were comparing from here to here. That's all. So you were saying if this was, like you were saying, if this was one centimeter, it might be 10 
millimeter, this distance. Like you're saying, that's what we're saying, length to length. So let me, let me just put some idea on it so you, you get the point we're making to try to transist. All right, so if this were one, one um, centimeter, right? This was a one centimeter length right here. What we are saying is that this same one centimeter, this same one centimeter is the same thing as saying 10 millimeter, that same distance. You get the point where you get the point I'm making to you? That same distance. Yes, sir. In other words, I am saying, let me change the color for this one. No, let us see. So we are saying this distance is one centimeter, but that same distance is 10 millimeter. So we're talking about distance to distance, distance to distance. When you're dealing with area, it's not just distance you're dealing with. Watch this. You see this one here? I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to rotate it for you. And I'm going to show you that when you're dealing with area, then this happens. You're now dealing with length and width. But because this is a square, we'll say length and length because none is bigger. So we have to understand our language when we speak it. Length and length. None is bigger. So we can't say width. See here? Everybody can see the point I'm making right now? So when, when we're dealing with area, you will say the length of the one side of the square times the other length of the other side. And it's going to cover this. So I'm going to show you what it covers. So by the time you multiply that one times that one, you end up getting one box called one square unit. One square unit. In this case, one square and the unit is centimeter. So this box is a one square centimeter. Anybody can understand what we just try? Tell me if you understand. Anybody? Are we there? Yes, sir, yes. we're here. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, so, so, so what we're saying is when we talk about area, you're talking about a square. And because it is a square, everybody knows that the length of a square, the size of a square is the same. So you'll say one times one. I know what it's going to give you? One. One times one give you one. CM square, one square and the unit is same. Now for every one CM, I'm just showing you something, you know, for every one CM, look what happened. We get 10 what? Watch this. Let me write something. I'm just showing 10 you 10 millimeter square. One CM times one CM, we end up with one, cm to the second power i'm just there is something i'm going to show you let me write let me write the power here first hold on give me a minute everybody see that yes, one yes, times sir, one sir. is one and this is called one cm or one square cm this box now that's cm but what if we're thinking millimeter would you agree that because it's millimeter now, this is 10, right? This is 10 for the same spot, it's 10. And you're gonna have 10 on the other side as well, right here. Am I lying? Because for everyone is 10 for the other one. So, so you know, you know how many squares in millimeters will be here? Look, you will have 10, millimeter times 10 millimeter and you end up with 100 millimeter hold on oh my what's going on oh i should be deleted and i'm hitting the wrong button let me delete watch this now
Can we look at the idea of what I'm saying now? You see this same little box here? That is one square with centimeters as a unit. This same box will contain 100 squares, but the unit this time will be in millimeter. Can everybody see that? Yes, sir. Remember, yes. I know. Remember, I know. Look what we're doing. We're saying since it's square, we're doing, we have to multiply one times one, but for every one, it's 10 of the other. So if I say one times one for centimeters, I have to say 10 times 10 for milli, since we're dealing with centimeters and millimeters. And when I get the, the relationship, remember it takes 10 millimeter to give one centimeter. So when you write one centimeter, you're, you're writing 10 millimeter. Then you said times one more centimeter, you have to say times 10 more millimeter. So you realize that one square in centimeter really will cover 100 square in millimeter. Anybody see the point where I make it so that nice? Or that not nice too, no? It's sorry, it's sorry, it's understandable. It's understandable. Yeah, watch this. It's understandable. This is, this is what it means. This is what it means. See there? Let me help you understand. Let me show you how this is. What we are saying is, look, so I'm trying to create it for you so that you can see the point I'm making. When we have one big square in centimeters, bam, we are counting up a lot of small squares in millimeters that in that same little region. Kaiser, you see the point I'm making yet? And so you get, sorry, you get 10 more than you usually get. Yes, yes, I don't have the right measurement, no, you know, but I'm just telling you that, so, let, you know what, I could get it, you know, but what I'm saying is we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we have eight, I could get ten, but I can't matter to cut, cut it, but basically what I'm saying to you guys is that, look, let me take it out, so we are saying this is 100, so I want to label this as 100, all right, guys, we're labeling this as 100 millimeter, like this is 100 millimeter, I am saying it's 100, can we take it as 100, huh? So we're taking it as a hundred. So what, what we're saying is, is that one square in centimeter will fit 100 squares in millimeter. And how you do it, you can look at it as simply as this, watch. See it there? See it there? Let me put my square unit up there. there for one of this is 10 of that for one more of this is 10 of that because we understand how the length goes one to ten one to ten so when you get one times one and get one here that means you're telling me it's one box in centimeters we are getting 100 box in millimeters that fits the same spot everybody get that yes sir yes sir yes sir yeah, man, this is how it is. And if we, so, so this is this is mathematics now. So when you're converting, when you're converting now from from square units, let me blow up this box now. When we're converting from square units to square units, hold on. All right, I'm going to have to take off this. All right, I'm going to have to put this by the side to discuss what I want to discuss. All right. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Understand with me. This is all these things. All right. Let me put it back. Hold on. Very good. All right. Here it is. All right. Get off. All right. Very good. Let's push this aside for a moment. All right, so 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 this is why they have this here, because they are saying to you that hey, look at this. Ordinarily, it takes ten of this to make one of this. In terms of length to length, but when you go area, you have to do the area multiplication. You have to square everything. Can you get the point we're making now? When you're moving to area, you square everything. Yes.
Oh, so all right. So okay, guys, hold on. Um, leave this one on too. No, you can leave. You have to have this one. Oh, oh, okay. So let me just make sure. Let me just turn off this one only. All right, my boss. All right. Hey, you are going. Why am I there? I teach. Oh, all right. Let's go this way. Yeah, man. Yeah, we talk. All right, guys. Sorry about that. All right. So here's the vibes now. What we're looking at here is that you square this for the relationship between the two. Square it. You have to. And even if you're going to multiply, remember we said it doesn't matter. It's just that if you're moving from big to little, you're going to divide and um, um, big to little, you multiply and little to big, you, you divide. We are saying that is the same principle, but the relationship must be squared before you do it. Can everybody connect to that little point I'm making? You're going to do the same thing, but you're going to have to square it because you're dealing with area and area deal with squares. That's the only thing, you know? Area deal with squares comparing to other squares. We just saw where it took one square in one unit that will cover 100 in the same spot. I am saying that in order to move from one square unit to the next square unit, you can still find your regular relationship and then you square it to get the relationship. Sometimes the best way to deal with this is to go all the way back. Watch. Let's watch this. Watch me. Let's talk. All right, I'm going to take off some stuff off of our board. Um, I want you to go get over here. I want you to go. All right, hold on. All right. All right, let's, let's, let's do some little stuff now. All right. If I want to move from, and I'm just going to use one now, one meter, all right, one square meter to, if I want to know what this is in centimeter square, all I'm saying is, I need to find a relationship between them first. Let's go for it. Regular relationship, Melissa and Shantaya. Regular. We're moving from meters to centi. The regular. So you use your table. It's a hundred. That's the relationship. But this relationship is to find length to length. Remember, we spoke about that. That relationship is to find length to length. But watch this now. We're no longer finding length. We're dealing with area to area. The moment you're dealing with area to area, you're going to have to say, oh, the relationship is not a hundred anymore. The relationship is a hundred square. And you're going to get 10,000 for that relationship. For square to square, meter to centimeter turns into 10,000. Can anybody relate to the point I'm making? Guys? Yes, sir. So this is something that you're going to have to execute when you're moving yes, from square unit to square unit. You will, you will find your regular relationship, but square it to know what's going on for here. So then look at this. I am saying to you that it takes, it takes right now 10,000 cm square, assume show it up, to give you one m square. This is what we're saying. Let me fix it first now. It takes 10,000 cm square to give us one meter square. You see the point I'm making? We knew, yes. we knew the relationship was, was, was 100 centimeter to one meter, but because we're dealing with the world of square, this is what happened. One side of the square, one side of the square, Look at the square box that I'm drawing. This was 10, this was 100, and this was 100. We are saying 100 times 100 turn this into 10,000. Can you get the point where I make it? Yes, sir. 10,000. All right, guys, you see what I say? Yeah, kind of. So then, so that is the relationship. And remember now, when you know the relationship, then you can simply multiply or divide depending if you're moving from, you know it goes. 
All right, if you're moving from big to small, all right, you multiply. And if you're moving from small to big, you divide. Same idea. All right, I would like to have some questions, all right? And hence, why they, they came up with this. That's why they have this. They're just saying to you, hey, can you look? They're saying, guys, look. Look for yourself. Look. <clears throat> look. See it here? We just did it. The relationship between centimeter to meter is 100. But because it's square, we square that. We have a new relationship for area. The relationship between meter to kilometer is 1,000. But we square it. It doesn't matter if we're going to divide or multiply. The fact that we are in the world of area, we have to employ the square idea first. And after we square it, we will decide, am I going from big to small or small to big? Can we see that? Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Samir Blake, your hand is up. Sir, I was asking if a rectangle and a square could be an example of area. If a rectangle and a square could do what for us? Could be an example of an area. All right. I want to sometimes, I, I really want to have the clarity in terms of the question. All right, so I don't want to assume. All right, um, I really want to know what you're asking. Um, basically, area has to do with square. Sure. Area has to do with the number of squares in the, in the covering the surface, not rectangle. Just how many squares are covering the surface only, squares only. Is that what you want to know? Whether or not no, we could no. yeah, speak. Sir, what I'm... What I mean is, sir, because squares make up a rectangle. So I was asking. That's why. Okay. All right. So, but all right. So let me just finally say this. Um, squares make up anything that you want to find, and you want to find it in area. You understand? Yes, sir. Squares make up any idea that speaks to area. Square make up that. So even if I'm finding a triangle, and I said, what is the area of the triangle? Like right now, if I say, what's the area of, I don't have a good ruler here, but I'm going to try to do something. Um, I hope it doesn't spoil my truth. Let me see if I can get this square to be a square. All right, I think that looks like a square. All right, watch me now. What is this? Is this the highlighter? All right, let me use this. These are hard to use, guys. All right, let me show you this. Watch this. This is now a, this is now a triangle I'm dealing with right here. Right angle, triangle. Everybody can see it right here. Let me come yes, back. Yes, sir. It's a right angle, right angle, triangle. Yeah, I'm going to put it in green shade. No, green is not a good shade right now. Maybe red, red. All right, watch me shading it. You see me? All right, so I just shade it. Remember, I just drew the line. The line is not properly drawn, but I, I guess we can see the point that we're making right there. Now, I'm going to put on some measurement on this. That's two units. And down here, I could duplicate this and turn it right here. It's two units as well. Everybody agree? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Anybody remember the area for a triangle since you just left um, primary? So how much is 80? Come oh, on, the area. Area of a triangle is base. Oh, the area. Yeah, base times height. And then divide it by two. Everybody remember that? Half base times height. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You must remember that, man. You have to remember things, you know? So it's basically base times height over two like this. This is what gives you the area of a triangle, not you? Yes, sir. So let yes, us sir. go with it. The base is two. And our height is two as well this time. And we're supposed to divide the answer by two. So we end up getting four 
over 2, and that gives us 2, and I'm going to write square units. You know what? You know, that is what the area of this red triangle is. Let's count it for ourselves now. And this is why I love mathematics. We don't have to, we don't have to be afraid of anything. Let's count it. Would you agree, Mia and company, that this is one? This is yes, one square. Sir. Samir, this is one square, true? Yes, sir. And would you agree that this is a half and this is exactly a half? A half, yes, a half. Sir. You know what? One more. So one and a half, a half. Give you how many squares, Sita? You see? How many? Two. Two. So what we're saying is anything that you're finding, as long as it's area you're finding, you have to represent it as square. How many squares? No rectangle. As squares. You understand the point? That's why I choose a triangle now to say area of the triangle will still be in squares. The area of anything has to be represented using squares. Is that clear? Yes, sir. All right, very good. All right, I think, I think we have learned enough. Um, what I'm going to do though, you know, um, we're going to stop now because that's a lot of information. Um, I tried to record this here. I don't know what the recording will look like. I'm going to send it back to you, hopefully, um, depending whether or not it's downloaded on this computer. I'm not at my home. I'm not using my tablet. So I don't know what the recording will look like, okay? But definitely, I think you guys should go back to this recording and rewatch it. There is a lot of things that we spoke about that are necessary and so forth. We're going to stop. But when, when, when we meet next week, this is what we're going to be looking at. All right? See it here in the background jumping. This is what we will be looking at. All right, guys? Yes, we're sir. Converting from one yes, unit. Sir. All right, guys. Oh, that's hurting your brain. Yeah, man. Oh, that's hurting your brain. This is what we'll be dealing with. It's in the background. Here it is. Sir. All sir. right. Every math teacher. Sir, every math, te math teacher is wicked, sir. First, they give us the nice, nice work. You know, I said this is easy. And then they give us the all hard work, sir. The straight <laughs> up. They don't lose us up, sir. They just get it to us. And then we're like, it's hard in the brain. It's hard. Sir, you can't do it like that. I'm trying to understand what Terry is saying, sir. Right, man. You don't good. understand. I didn't no, pick no. up anything you were saying. All right, right teachers Darius. give you a small amount of work. And then when you finish a small amount of work, they give you a lot of work that is completely <laughs> different. Your mind can't even comprehend That's anything how it goes. they gave you. That's how it goes, man. Oh, yes, okay. Man. All right, guys. Um, it was yes. nice having you for class. And I, I, I enjoy the class so much. I look forward to teaching you every week. All right? And um, next week, though, it's sure. like a lot of calculation. This week, we had discussions of truth. Next week will be, how do we find this? How do we find that? We're going to be dealing with that. Compute period, ready to find. Area moving to another area. Centimeter square to millimeter square. <coughs> stuff like that. Square kilometers to square meters. We're going to be dealing with all of that next week and more. Enjoy the rest of your evening, guys. And I'll see you. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you, you sir. Bye. 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 Enjoy the rest of your week. I will do. I'll try. Bye, sir. All right. Bye-bye. Bye, sir. Bye. Bye-bye, everyone.